Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boost and I'm here to show you the Painter Essentials Translucent Brush Pack. In this brush pack, we have included 10 brushes, beam, glass, droplet, oil, raindrop, reflection, shimmer, shiny, spin, and window. Um, these brushes, of course, are to help you express a translucent surface and this is sort of a mess of all of those brushes going on over a translucent surface. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at how each of these individual brushes act on a, a clean photo here. I'm going to start with the top and I'm just going to work down. So beam is like a beam of light that of course shoots upward, but it's got many hue variations there. Kind of if you've got something like a cityscape or something and it's wet, you can kind of make little beams if you make your your brush smaller, you can create smaller beams or go all the way to the top. I'm going to backspace that and we're going to look at glass. Glass, this is a really cool brush because what you can do is you can make little fractures and, and break glass with it. And that's pretty cool because if you've got like a window or something, you can choose how saturated it's going to be. But you can add some character to it. I think it's not the most realistic example here on a glass ball so I won't continue to do that how about that and we'll move on to the next one we've got droplet here and the droplets are pretty fun because what they do is they let you express a little just little of course droplets and there's not much of a hue variation there and the reason is so that you can kind of color pick and, and create, you know, if you were to do this on the side of a glass or something that's uh, wet on the on the sides. All right, let's move on to the next brush. You can kind of see what that does. Where am I? I'm at oil. All right, oil is pretty fun. You can take oil and just like this surface of oil, you start to see that rainbow. Well, you can kind of pretend your picture uh, needs some of that rainbow on some of the edges. So let's go ahead and make this brush really small here and you can see it slowly but surely let's do a more natural color there it's going to change some of the color you can see some of the blue in here coming in but it, every time I make a stroke it's going to help me out by changing its hue so you can kind of see I've, I've altered a lot of the color here in a really natural way. There we go. So let's go ahead and I'm going to keep that there. I kind of like that. Let's do raindrop. This one is pretty fun because if you ever want to have like a really some nice raindrops, you can change the size, saturation. Oops. Not go too much there. And you can create some really cool drips. That one's fun. And let's go ahead and look at reflection here. This one is interesting. Uh, the intention of it is to color pick. And on a surface, if you make your brush very small, especially on a larger canvas, I think this brush was intended to work better. But you can kind of create a little bit of a shadow there. And then as you, as you get brighter, you can kind of blend it up, but that way you can create ref somewhat reflections on a surface um, softly and not break the surface and look like you're adding a painting there. So let's move on to Shimmer. And this brush is actually pretty fun. I, I'm glad I'm able to show the intention of this in a video. Um, what I like to do with this is add little high saturated specks and if you get enough of them you kind of create as the brush says kind of a shimmer in the area that you start to poke around in and the longer you hold it the bigger the shimmer is going to get so you can get it it starts out real hard and it gets nice soft and wide like that there we go and the next brush where am I at shiny let's see what this one was that's right so this one you're gonna take you're gonna take whatever so the highlight color right here and this one is really fun 
we're going to take it and we're just going to scrub it around. And this one is really fun because you get to soften things up and kind of add, if you've got a small highlight, you can you can add some fun things to this this kind of surface by and there's a little texture there to kind of help keep things together and make it look not so digital now I'm gonna re, I'm gonna undo and you can see what a big difference that is that's all that almost makes this light looks like it it's affecting this one here a lot more so then let's look at spin this one is pretty fun because this will take things up and in a, a glass-like effect, just spin things all over. And if and if if I copy this and paste it there, and let's see here. And for those of you that are not familiar with layers, I just I just selected everything, I copied it, and I pasted it. So I created a duplicate of that. So now let's go ahead. And go like that and I can use an eraser on this actually let's use one of my better erasers here there we go a block eraser is always nice and now I can back out of this and create what looks like a background effect there and I can lower the opacity of it if I if I like there we go that's pretty nice and then I've got window last but not least and this brush helps me let's say that you've got a surface that you can't it's hard to tell that there is a surface there but it's see-through but you need at least some roughness this will help you to express that and if you add some color to it you can do some cool things too but you can almost if like for example let's say I wanted this to be a window or a surface this kind of helps me to create that foreground surface and if there was a frame here or or a windowsill um, it would help out even more uh, anyways that's the translucent brush pack for painter essentials I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I'm interested to see what people around the internet are gonna make with this brush pack thank you very much mm -hmm.